Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the African campaign featuring the modern day 4 mod. In the last episode, we worked on building up our army. We decided that uh, we just didn't have a large enough army to continue pushing east through Nigeria. So, we are going to try to build up and maybe try some other options here. One thing we went ahead and did is declared war on Sierra Leone and captured Sierra Leone. So that's done. We'll be working on Liberia next. So, that is what we're going to do here. And what I kind of decided we're going to do as far as the path we're going to take is we are going to bypass Nigeria for the time being. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to build up our marines and we're going to launch a naval invasion of Equatorial Guinea and then use that as a staging area to hit Cameroon it says Gabon and then push through uh, Central Africa and then into the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo kind of take all of this area here and that should definitely give us what we need to then absorb Nigeria creating one giant state across here so that's kind of the plan and from there we'll probably be pretty strong at that point well, I hope alright so we need to get two more political power All right, doctrine efforts done okay oh one other thing I wanted to talk about here Got some more paratroopers. Paratroopers were you. Yeah, there we go. Is that... You go into this army. Okay, yep. And we get assigned to that front. Is that I went ahead and reorganized the division structure a little bit. And whoa, what's going on? Okay, I don't know what's happening here. All right, uh, let's get the special forces running. And what I did on a suggestion from a viewer is to, I went in and edited the structure to get the combat width of our divisions to 20 or less. Because of the way the combat width system in the game works makes that more efficient. So I kind of changed up the armored divisions we created um, to be primary armor with some additional mechanized infantry. I kind of had to lighten it up a little bit to get it under tw get it at 20, but we got it at 20. So. We're good there. Alright, we're at our 300 political power. Let's go ahead and reduce corruption. To widespread corruption. And how much political power are we gonna need here? We're gonna need 23 more political power. And the justification will take 125 days. It's actually not bad. And again, you know, they don't really have any resources, but they have six civilian factories, so that'll be useful. Oh, and someone did show me how to assign air wings to the armies, so I went ahead and did that. Ethiopian election. Helamirium. Desale reelected. And I also uh, put out another air wing of helicopters because we had some built up. And you have two divisions. I'm probably going to want or 
least for now, two infantry armies. Alright, yeah, because I'm actually training more marines. So we need to get the marine army uh, built up first. These guys. And maybe... Can I at least start planning the naval invasion? Let's do it from the shortest route possible. Now, I don't know exactly where their troops are. We are going to have to probably take this island, so we'll probably have to do this in two invasions. One coming in here to the mainland, and another one hitting the, the capital island. Um, can I actually... Oh, we got our fourth ship. Okay, hold on, hold on just a second. Iranian election, Hassan Rouhani was re-elected. Alright, just give me a second. Alright, sorry about that, I just wanted to look up the name I wanted to give this ship. We're just going to be following the same naming convention. Uh, various um, chiefs of naval staff of Ghana from throughout history. Well, since it was a nation. Um... This is going to be Philemon F. Koye? Alright, there we go. Uh, what do I have no template for? Recon tank. I don't have anything that uses recon tanks. Oh, I have free dockyards. Oh, we finished that ship and that freed up our dockyards. Right, so we want to do our new destroyers. Again, have them on priority for resources. And let's say, let's make um, a bunch of those. Ten of them. 1.68 per year. We are going to be building more naval dockyards eventually, so that'll come up. Alright, so what I was actually going to do is send our boats on a little bit of a, a mission here. See if we can not conduct a little reconnaissance. Okay, so their army is in... Here. Now, what we may actually do is do this as a two pronged attack with our Marines and our paratroopers. As soon as we actually have some transport planes. Oh, that's right, because I don't think I have anybody using any armored recon, right? Because you're using mechanized recon. Do I really need a mechanized recon? Could I just use... Motorized recon here instead? Save the mechanized for... Well, see, you're using light. Well, that's kind of a waste. Um, wasted some points there. Yeah, keep those mechanized. So we actually don't really need these recon tanks right now. So... Do we need the infantry fighting vehicles? Not really. Or... I don't know. Hold on, let's see. Could I move that factory? Yeah, let's do it like this. Recon tank. 
You see, let's remove that so the factory goes into close air support aircraft. We switch the recon tank here. Switch those guys around. Is that like um, armored recon? It'll probably be armored recon, right? It needs recon tanks. See, the problem is if I switch to armored recon, it increases the combat with the 21, which makes things not what we quite want uh, here. Maybe if I make like an actual like motorized or mechanized division without the tanks, I can put some armored recon in there. So what we would do with these guys is do a pair drop. Well, we actually can't do the pair drop because we don't have the transports. Uh, we're working on it. 484 days to get the transport designs. Burundian election, Pierre Nukurunziza re-elected. Alright, what are you guys short on? Small arms. It might be worth taking another factory of small arms before we go after the IFVs and the recon tanks. We'll need, like, more military factories, but that won't happen probably until we get all of this stuff built. Oh, oh we can actually begin justifying. Start justifying. Could probably justify it a bit earlier. Alright, so not quite to a year. Let's see, at the moment, our naval invasion plan requires four convoys, okay, so. And you guys had like, what, two ships? Yeah, two ships. Not exactly sure what kind of ships. But only two. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch you guys all to aggressive for this. I don't want anybody just waiting around. All right, how long is it gonna take? It's gonna take until the 18th of December. Doesn't look like we're beginning any new tech soon, so we'll just have to wait that out as well. Uh, though we're almost on our national focus. And I have a couple of options here. We can either pick a continuous focus. So, say, construction engineering so we can get our stuff built faster. But only by, like, 
Uh, let's see, air base, refinery, air battery, nuclear reactor, land fort, coastal fort. Construction repair, industry repair, speed free repair. That doesn't really affect factories at all. Naval base, no. Yeah, not factories. Naval production, naval yard output, air production, reduction in production cost, resistance suppression, construction, army training, division training time. You know, none of these are really that useful. I mean, we could go naval production to increase the output of our naval yards to get those ships done faster, but 20% but probably isn't going to affect much at all. And right now, the actual political power points are more important. Because we're going to we're using those to reduce our corruption. Yeah, you know, which increases our military industry output. Now, is this just a problem? No, research time. Okay, research time. Military industry. What, minus 10%, minus 8%. Yeah, we'd like to get all the way down to negligible, negligible corruption, but we got one, two, three, four. So it'll be 1,200 political power we gotta spend. We get 1.5 per day, so that's like what? 900 days? Now, we're still boosting popularity, but we can't seem to get this past 30%. That's because it looks like the Western outlook has been increasing as well. and But their emerging outlook is way down. So, if we can get them to their next election in 2027, it probably is going to flip governments. Emerging outlook, is that reducing? Very, very slowly. Because I could also cancel my boost popularity here. Because that thing has cost me 0.75 political power per day. I think we've accomplished most of what we want to do. Let, let me stop boosting party popularity. 2.28. If I wanted to stage a coup, it's going to cost me 2.5. So I can't really sustain an attempt to stage a coup for a long period. The problem is it's going to require 1,500 political power to do that. Twenty nine point nine oh. Is this still going down? Nineteen point oh four. Yeah, it's still going down. It's the Western outlook that's going up. They must have taken something. Who's increasing their Western outlook? Okay, yeah, they have daily pro-Western support plus 0.1. Cameroonian electron Modest Bacolo takes over. Western outlook. Mer emerged victorious in elections, now tasked with leading Cameroon forward. Okay, so Western outlook means they're probably not going to be joining the Eurasian Union anytime soon, which is good news for me. As long as they don't join the U.S. 
the European Federation. It is odd that they don't have NATO in here as a thing. Yeah, primarily small arms is our problem. See, should I just push them out as green or wait till they train? Tanzanian election, Johann Smith re-elected. Western Outlook, okay. Yeah, everybody appears to need small arms. Small arms. Small arms. Small arms. We really need to ramp up our small arms production. How many of these close air support planes have we built? Four. Do these guys have planes? They do have planes. So what we may want to do is move our aircraft to support our Marines, once we're done with Liberia. Which is going to be soon, less than a month. I think it was kind of important to do this to just reduce that emerging outlook to make sure that the next election goes to a different fact to a different uh, ideology or outlook whatever you want to call it keep them away from Russia We could do a small arms buy, but I don't think we really need to. Right, July 2026. So I think putting those special forces in here while they make them much much more capable in terms of um, rough terrain rivers amphibious plains desert hills forest mountain urban jungle everything is up but it also increases their training time I know I saw that somewhere Increases production cost, manpower, training time, plus 420. This guy's in conquering Eastern Liberia for Ghana is finished. Okay. So that really slows down the training. It may be worth taking that out. All right, declare war. Probably anti-bully system is going to show up. Yep, there it is. But I don't think that's really going to matter.
There's our other division. That's pretty much where I thought it was going to be. Superiority, we have air support. Alright. GDP per capita has been upgraded. We are now at ten thousand dollars per capita. Uh with about ten thousand dollars per capita, the country is semi well semi developed. The level can be increased once all available. Okay, yeah. So it's per rating plus four percent. Everything should be a little bit better. That means that I can probably build more stuff. Lots more stuff. Let's build a bunch of civilian over here. Mangalasi election? Or, oh, not Mango. Malagasy. Joseph Raman. Ramanas. Rama. Nansoa. Something like that. Take all states. End turn. Done. Alright. Let's get some more military across here. More naval dockyards. Do I actually want to get this infrastructure built? We only have one military factory. Cameroon has three. Gaben has one. You have one. You have one. You have one. You have none. That's probably why this really hasn't gone anywhere as far as wars are concerned. Um, because nobody has any guns. Let's see, what if we put light infantry in here in this place, instead of going to special forces? You know what, let's switch that back. That's just taking way too long to train those guys. See, now they'll be done in February. Yeah, it, it, it adds like four months worth of training time to each individual division. That's just ridiculous. It's a luxury I can't afford at this stage of the game. Alright, let's get you guys all to a naval base. Get you guys to a naval base as well. Ah, we have 300 political power. 
Let's go ahead and drop down to medium corruption. Alright, there's some more Marines. Alright, I'm starting to feel like we're starting to snowball here. Which is good. Construction speed is minus 26%. Volunteer service for women reduces it by 3, which I'm not really worried about. I need the manpower. It's just... Well, the GDP per capita actually increases. As each stage goes up, it increases the um, time it takes to build more factories. Alright. We have frigates now. I'm actually not going to worry about corvettes. You know what? Let's let's grab that nuclear battle cruiser. It's not going to take too long. Only 432 days. That's kind of weird to be saying that. <laughs> All right, more paratroopers. Oh, did I put them in the wrong? Yeah, put them in the wrong army. There we go. Armor. Now these are these motorized? Yeah, these are motorized. No, no, they're not. We have motorized marine infantry, but we're not going to use them. We're motorizing our airborne divisions. That's what we've been doing. Alright, there's more infantry. What I really should be doing is putting special forces in, like, these guys. But again, way too much extra time to train. Central African election Faustin Archange Toadera re-elected. I'm probably butchering these pronunciations, by the way. Uh, we're saying low manpower. Ugandan election Yoweri Museveni re-elected. All right. Here we are a bit low on manpower. What we would need to do is increase our military spending. Nigerian election. Mohamedou Isofu re-elected. Non-aligned outlook. Nigerian. Which is not Nigerian, it's Nigerian. Comorian election, Azali Asumani re-elected. Alright. So that's you. Yeah. Non-aligned. This guy hasn't had their election yet. Okay. 
All right, how much would it cost to jump up to... I don't think we would jump that far. Tax cost 9%. Recruitable population factor minus 77%. Minus 7%. Very large military spending. Um, the the question then becomes the tax cost. Right now it's only three factories, so it probably won't take that many factories off the line to really bump that up right now. I'll probably bring it up by another two. Let's do it. Nope, it did three. But increase the military industry output and increase our naval yard output, which means that we are now making two and a half destroyers per year because we actually got some more we got another uh, dockyard but now we need some petroleum and there really isn't anyone to buy it from so I guess we're gonna have to take it It's fortunate that you guys have petroleum. Oh, what well, I just noticed that we are long here. Okay, so we're going to have to end the episode here. And we have four divisions, but trying to break in there is going to be tough. Two hundred and thirty-nine days till we have transport aircraft. Then we actually have to build the transport aircraft. All right. Well, we're we're gonna end the episode here. We'll see what we're gonna do. I would like to get probably at least ten marine divisions on this naval invasion before we go for it. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.